We're going to do this tinnitus item and we're going to give you various sounds throughout the day. So have a listen to this sort of sound. Right, awful, awful. Uh, that is affects that. six million people in this oh. country, and that's just one form of tinnitus. You can you can hear different noises there. Some of you, oh, could oh, you imagine, can you that, imagine pulsing that pulsing in your ear there as well? It really so, is a very debilitating condition. It can interrupt your sleep, affect uh, your, your work, concentration, of course, bring and it can cause depression. depression. Yeah. So what is obviously. it? Uh, and can you cure it? And can you make your life more bearable? We've got the man himself, Dr Chris Steele, here to talk about this today. Chris, over to you. Yeah, what is it? Well, it's from the Latin word meaning ringing. And, and people will say, oh, it's ringing in your ears. But as you've heard, the, the sounds can be anything, you know, from thunder to all sorts of things going on. And th these are sounds, in fact, that are not coming from the external world. They're, they're inside your, your ears, inside, the, inside your so brain. So they're not in your imagination? Because oh, some no. people say, well, it must be in people's imagination that no, they're hearing no, that. No, they're real sounds that because they are hearing. Most of us would ha have had it already. I mean, we've all had a ringing. I, you know, mm. occasionally get a ringing and you think, hope that goes away. Yeah. Yeah. So is, is it all related, all the same sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, I mean, especially, say, if you've been to uh, a loud club or a gig or a festival, mm. your loud sounds, loud music can, can cause tinnitus the next day, and that's not uncommon in mm. festival goers and concert goers. Uh, and often that's how it was done, but repeated exposure to loud sounds can cause you know, mm. damage to the hearing and create tinnitus. Um, uh, another cause, actually, is just... Um, Losing your hearing, as you get older, your hearing tends to go a bit less. Uh, and in that situation, normal sounds around you would not mask tinnitus if it was starting. The tinnitus would be more obvious. Um, and, I mean, I've just heard this morning of someone who's got tinnitus after uh, being on army training and a gun was fired yeah. near his head, you know. I can imagine. What we're going to do is we're going to replicate that now with you, Ruthie, yeah? No, 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 that's something else. Oh, I thought, I thought you yeah. were going to... I thought you were going to tinnitus. <laughs> no, 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 this is... Right, okay, okay. well, we were, just, we were going to talk about the gadgets. Yeah, yeah. But this is one that is actually not widely available on the National Health. Some mm. people get it, so you can see that. It's like yeah, a, yeah. And this part goes in your ear, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So the, I've actually got an earpiece... In. Do you so want to put it in your other out. ear? No, because I can hear all of them talking. Uh, and we don't know whether this will work or not, so we'll so try So this is it. supposed to yeah, it, mask... It, the sound generator, so it's going to generate a sound to, to mask the... Cancel tinnitus. out the other one. That's right. Ow, yeah. just but, uh, but also, it can act as a hearing aid as well, so your hearing aid can be enhancing your normal hearing, but masking the tinnitus sound with sort of a white noise. Yeah, it's, it's quite a gentle, it's just... It sounds like very gentle running water, like... Yeah. 